archives of Prasar Bharti presents the timeless treasure of golden era. Manipur is situated in the eastern peninsula of our country, where the seven states are popularly referred to as Seven Sisters. Manipur is blessed with natural beauty. Its vast valleys and enchanting hills attract many travelers. The rich cultural diversity of this state raises the glowing land into a paradise. Within their green meadows, a community thrives on its glorious past. Kabui, a tribal community believed to have migrated from Temenglong. History suggests that the earliest settlement of Kabuis in Imphal is about a century old, majority of whom are now settled in the Imphal subdivision. They are also found in the neighboring areas like Assam, Nagaland, Tripura and Arunachal Pradesh. Nowadays, the vast tract of hilly region situated along the western part of Manipur is the habitat of Kabuis. Rong Mei, with which the Kabuis of Manipur are referred these days, is a combination of words Rong and Mei, meaning South and people or people of South or Southerners. This word is comparatively less known in other communities. Uh, the Kaburis are an indigenous and ancient tribe of Manipur. They have got a very rich culture, a very glorious history, and they have what's called, um, survived all their crises in their long history. They are found in Tamil district and many other neighboring districts, including the valley of Manipur. The Kabuis had followed their own religion. They have uh, their own social system. The pattern of settlements in almost all the Kabui villages are the same. Their residential houses are built on both sides of the common path which zigzags through the central portion of the residential areas. Most residential areas have rectangular and near rectangle shape and houses are built facing the common path. The modern generation of Kabuis don't prefer the traditional houses. In fact, these days one can find both thatched and pakka houses among the Kabui ghettos. One can observe a very intelligent and artistic use of bamboo in the construction of the Kabui houses earlier. The walls were plastered with a mixture of mud, cow dung and pieces of straw for thatching a very special grass called E is employed by Kabuis. As per the last census conducted among the tribal population of Kabuis, their total population is around 29,216. Kabuis belong to the Mongoloid race with a medium build. They are of short stature, muscular and strongly built, which justifies their hard-working temperament. They are fair-skinned, with flat facial structure, broad noses and narrow eyes. Men and women have common features. The language in Kabui and the script is a mixture of Mitai and Bengali. Though with the educational progress, they have also started speaking English and Hindi. Kabui community has been subdivided into a number of exogenous clans 
they are gang mei gol mei ka mei and long mei kabuis have undergone a tremendous cultural change due to economic progress and education today one rarely finds a kabui in a typical traditional dress though they still retain glimpses of their costumes yet the general trend is to wear western clothes it is only at the time of festivals that they attire themselves in traditional costumes men wear a dress known as khudai which is hand loom based hand woven and the designs are traditional women wear pesoi a white sheet of cloth worn to cover the lower part of the body with a blouse on top Kabuis have a unique sense of schemes and designs. Women look gorgeous in arithmetic designs with bright colors. The choice of color, fabric and dyeing is dependent on stitching capability. In fact, young kabui girls and boys display a sense of class by modeling in their traditional dresses in fact it is heartening to see them proud of their cultural past women are the most important factor in creating such wonderful clothes despite the fact that they work so hard the whole day they still find time to weave clothes the style of weaving is also taxing to the back yet they weave with wild dedication the dominant colors are black red white and yellow Like all women, Kabui women are also fond of jewelry. Kabui women love to wear necklaces of glass and cheap stone beads of different colors. They love to wear glass bangles and armlets. Kabui women wear beautiful earrings made of woolen threads in different colors. They look so attractive and natural. in comparison to other modern artificial jewelry as per custom only unmarried girls wear jewelry non traditional jewelry too has entered the lives of the kabui women which are these days available in the market among the kabuis rice beer is indispensable in all ceremonies the rice beer is known as zo Smoking too is very popular among the Kabuis. They consume both cigarette and beeri. Hookah smoking too is an old tradition which continues to be a part of Kabui lives. Marriage is a part of every social system. In the Kabui community There are two ways to acquire a partner one by negotiation and the other by elopement Now the practice of elopement is virtually dead in marriage by negotiation the initiative is taken by the parents of the boy and in case of the girls the efforts on the part of the parents start when she is very young Bride price is another tradition of kabuis but it is called manket marriage ceremonies take place at the boy's house where a marriage party from the bride's house arrives
the bride is welcomed at the house by the ladies, where a traditional welcome with prayers is performed. Thereafter, she is taken inside the house, in front of the family members and friends. Then, the rituals are performed by the priest, who is called Mu. The entire ceremony involves chanting of mantras, with a cock being sacrificed. The last ritual of this entire ceremony is the symbolic taking off of jewellery from the bride's body by elderly women, thus symbolizing her newly formed marital status. The ceremony ends with celebration and offering of rice beer in bamboo shoots to the guests. And it ends with music and dance by all. Widow remarriage is also permissible among the Kaboys. Monogamy is generally practiced in this community. The Kaboys believe in their ancient religion, which is known as Kaboism among the educated masses. The pattern is very elaborate one. Their deities can be classified in three groups, which are Supreme Deity, Village Deity and the Household Deity. Their village prayer hall is a place where the Kaboi people worship in a traditional manner. It is a modern, well-equipped structure with modern technological system. In this hall, they pray to the sky god. The place is popularly known as Ting Kao Ragwang. Kaboi people have progressed, but to keep their traditional customs alive, they create fire during the Gangnagoi festival in the old style with cotton and wooden logs. This system of making fire is called Mating Gang. Chu is a men's club where bachelors are brought together before the start of any festival. The headman of the Kangchu is called 
Kungbon. He is in charge of all the rules and regulations that are to be followed by the young. He advises the youth on how to behave before each festival. A unique and sensible approach in handling the youth in the Kabui tribe exists. Music and dance are always an important part of society. Kabui people have a mixture of dances which they perform at different occasions. They wear traditional dresses and dance to the rhythmic beats of Dhol. This dance is called Kitlam. It is performed during spring season. In this dance, it is a must to have couples and that too not less than eight to perform. As per the tradition, only unmarried boys and girls can perform this dance. These young people matching their feet and body movements to the beats, competing with each other in appeal and perfection, present a beautiful sight to the viewers. Kabui people are very fond of sports activities. Boys and girls participate with a lot of enthusiasm. They play the modern games which bear traditional names. Loi Jai Mei is performed during summer season at the time of Gudui Mei festival. It is quite similar to the tug of war. It is generally believed that wealth and prosperity come if female folks win the game. Another game similar to Shot Put is performed during Gang Nagoi and Ling Nagoi festival. It is called Tao Pang Kapong Mei. In this game, the male folk's strength is tested. Death is a universal truth. So is the ritual of disposing the dead. Kabui people also follow a traditional custom. Women perform a ritual by offering the god flowers and locally made rice beer. They sing to appease the Almighty for bringing peace to the dead.
After the ritual, a symbolic tilak is put on the forehead of the participating women. This ceremony locally is called Gudui ceremony. They bury the dead. As per custom, they bury the dead in front of the house, which is still practiced by some. They erect an epitaph in the memory of the dead. Men also sing in groups at the death of their loved ones. Kabui people are very hardworking and disciplined. They have learnt during the past how to sustain and grow. They have developed agricultural methods, improved upon them and with education and government support progressed to a successful society. They are intelligent enough to quickly accept the changing world around them though their main occupation is still agriculture. They have adopted western technology. They have also become urbanized. In these changes are mostly seen in their housing pattern, in the uh, settlement of their villages, with this coming of trade center in the center. They have also been greatly influenced by the uh, modern uh, consumerist uh, culture. They have adopted um, this, uh, for example, for entertainment, TV, radio. They have adopted this uh, in the household use of uh, gas, use of uh, washing machine, electricity, and they have used this uh, motorized uh, vehicles, uh, transportation. Therefore, changes are coming, urbanization has come. But despite this, one good thing with the Kabui tribe is they stuck to their religion, they stick to their culture, they stick to their social system. The Kabuis of Manipur are an example of hard work, determination and strong character. They have proved in the past and we hope that they will continue to progress, retain their natural traditions with respect and nurture youth to new crowning glories.